I wanted to do this video for a while, and I keep putting it off, but with me announcing the winners of the photo contest today, I think it's a pretty good time for it. So if you don't know what Reshade is, well, if I had to describe it, it's kind of like Photoshop for games. You can put visual filters over your game, and it ranges from stuff that increases the quality of it, to stuff that's just downright fun. So for this tutorial, we're assuming you're using Windows 10, that you have Bluestacks 4 or 5, and you already installed it. So we're going to start with Bluestacks 5 since that's easier. So you have to get the install. Um, you have to have an old version of it. The newest one does not work right now. With Bluestacks it crashes a lot. So I'll link this in the description. So first we have to go to this PC, pick our main hard drive, go to program files. Now, Bluestacks NXT, that's Bluestacks 5. Bluestacks is Bluestacks 4. So, Bluestacks 5, we just right click, go to Properties, Security, Edit, Users, scroll down to Write, Allow, Apply. Very important step, it won't work otherwise. Next, we're going to start up Bluestacks 5. And we want to go to settings, go to graphics, and make sure that it's on OpenGL and compatibility mode. Now we can X that out again, click on reshade, select the game, browse, and you go to this PC, our main drive, program files, Bluestacks NXT, and scroll down until you find HD player. So you pick that, you pick OpenGL, and you can install whatever effects you want. I just like installing everything and figuring it out later. Except for Legacy, we don't need that. So I'm just going to wait for this to download. And we're done. So I could just open up Bluestacks 5 to show you now. Um, I guess I will. But we're not going to open up a game with it. See, you'll see those uh, words if it works, but the problem with Bluestacks 5 is that this message appears on everything, so it's kind of glitchy in that regard. So uh, let's close that out. We're going to do Bluestacks 4 now. So with Bluestacks 4, pretty similar. This PC, our main drive, program files, Properties, Security, Edit, Users, Allow Write Permissions, Apply. And we also have to make sure that we have OpenGL and Compatibility Mode on that too. I already do, so we're not going to do that again. Double click here, and we're going to select this version of Bluestacks now. It's still the HD player. OpenGL. I'm going to do the same thing again. And just let that download and install. Alright. Now here's the part where WinRAR comes in. So with WinRAR, it's a file compressor, file decompressor. It's popular, it's free, it's great. If you don't already have it, install it. You might be able to use some other thing, but whatever. So we're going to unzip this installer, open with WinRAR, we want to take out this reshade64.dll because the automatic installer installs the wrong thing. So we need to scroll down to OpenGL32 over here. Gonna delete that. We're gonna throw that in there. And we're going to rename it OpenGL32. And this is because um, we need to use the 64-bit version. The installer installed the 32-bit version. Now there are Windows 10 versions out there that run on 32-bit, but they're so rare that I'm just going to assume that you use 64-bit. So that's all good. Now we're going to start up Bluestacks 4, and I will show you... 
what to expect. So I already installed the Optic Heroes, we'll use that as our example. See these words up here, we'll just go full screen and it'll load effects. Um, you don't have to wait around for that really, because the game has to load up too. So just sit tight. You can press home to open up the menu. But we gotta wait for it to load first, so. We'll just start a guest account. Anything's fine. Now we can start messing with stuff if I press the home button. I'll just skip the tutorial. And there's a whole bunch of things you can use. I like fake HD. It makes my LCD screen look better. Because I'm used to playing on a phone, I have an OLED screen, it's more colorful. You can do things like that. Um, to make the game look a tiny bit better with Luma Sharpen. Clarity is pretty nice too. Or you could do something really wild like uh, Nostalgia. I love this one. But yeah, just play around with it. It's real fun. There's all kinds of stuff you could do. Even uh, cartoon mode. You could, you could really mess with it. You could be like doing stuff like this. And, um, have everything be letters. I don't know. It's just something I like messing around with, something fun. And I'm sure I can find use maybe videos. Maybe you can do like challenge videos even. Um, there's one that's just lines for the screen. I don't remember what it's called, but yeah. Lots of fun. I hope you can find some kind of use for it. I mess around with it time to time.